everyone. This is Jen with Dreams Etc. And this is the other Jane Austen themed journal that I just completed. Um, my mom, she started, well, actually, she, she had made a complete journal with it, but it was a lot smaller when she handed it over to me. It had about a, I don't know, a two and a half inch spine, and now it's got more like a five inch spine to it. <laughs> So it kind of exploded as I was working on it, but um, I think one of the reasons for that is uh, she also gave me her sewing machine, so I had a uh, little fun with it and I added more trims and fabric uh, to this journal and the other Jane's, um, Jane Austen themed journal that um, I showed prior to this one. So. Um, I'll just go ahead and kind of do a quick run run through and uh, this book used mainly the first part of the Simply Jane collection and then I'm just now going to be releasing the second part to it and I'll um, I'll show you some of the papers that come in the part two of the Simply Jane collection if I can find them here. So I'll just show you show you a few that I have printed out. So here's one. And I did these like I do with all my collections so they would coordinate well with the other papers. And you can mix these with Paris Rose, um, Antique Collage. Um, the Vintage Love Story. But I'll just show you. I don't think, I, I don't know if I have all of them printed out, but this is just kind of a quick preview of what's in the part two of the new collection. And then I have, um, ephemera cards and envelopes that go with this and I can show you I have um, some of them that I used in the journal so I can point those out to you but that's just a quick preview of some of the new digital papers from the um, Simply Jane part 2 okay so on this um, the cover was using um, papers from the Simply Jane Part 1. Um, it's the first part that I released. And then I just um, added this uh, lace and underneath is some pink ribbon. And then this, I'm not sure where I, ha I'm not sure where I got this from, but um, it had a little frame bezel. And so I just took one of the little pictures um, or images and made it really small and then um, let's see I used glossy glaze I believe Rangers glossy glaze over it and so that is the little embellishment that I did there and then on the side here of the spine um, this is some floral ribbon that I found and I loved it. It, it was it was really um, you know full of these beads and it had uh, I don't know I can't think <laughs> but um, anyway I thought it was eye-catching so I grabbed it and then I stitched stitched the side of the ribbon and as you can see um, you know it's not perfect and I didn't want it to be perfect um, and even if I wanted it to be perfect, it probably still wouldn't be perfect because I'm not a very good seamstress. In fact, I think, um, if I recall in home ec, I got a D and that was mainly for effort. <laughs> and then on the back, um, is one of the papers used from the original Simply Jane collection. And then just added some photo corners and... That is the covers of the book. 
And then I have ribbon that I um, attach to the covers to close it with. But um, as you can see, <laughs> oh gosh, this book, it's pretty chunky. <laughs> I don't know. I think it goes beyond chunky. It's um, it's quite quite thick, but um, I, I I still I love the look of it and um, made sure that there was lots of places to journal to add photos, so there's still plenty of room to do all of that. Um, this this is that I'll show you here because um, I've had a lot of people ask me the washi tape that I make and that's what this is right here um, it's from this 3M it's called 3M micro pore and it's surgical tape and I just take this and I lay strips of it on heavy cardstock and then I run it through my printer I just pick whatever design I want so like the this paper would have been really pretty too but um, I just lay lay strips side by side on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock, run it through my printer, and then um, it prints onto this, and then you can still peel this off from the cardstock, and then you get this nice, beautiful, um, thick washi tape um, that you can apply to your pages. So that's what I did here. And then on this page, um, this is craft paper and then some muslin um, fabric and some trim that I just stitched. And then I think this actually might pop out. No, I sewed it. So um, I created kind of this little pocket here when I stitched this down and then I stitched this side down and it created a pocket and it holds um, some tags there. On this page this is just um, a smaller paper bag and used that floral trim here and then this is one of the Paris Rose papers that's been reduced in size And then um, when my mom, like I said, my mom, she's the one who basically um, did the main pages of this book. And then I just kind of um, dressed them up a bit. But on these flaps that she had here, there's this, um, this Sizzix die. This Tim Holtz. I think it's Tim Holtz. I could be wrong. But um, let me see if I have it here. I might have it out still. It is Tim Holtz. It's the um, big ticket, the big ticket die. And the one thing that I found out when I ran this through, and this was heavier cardstock, when I ran it through, it didn't cut all the way through. So I used my exacto knife and I did a slit here, and then I made a slit here, and then I ran it through the embossing or ran it through an embossing folder and then I applied um, oh what is it called <laughs> um, Gilder's paste the patina Gilder's paste is what I rubbed over it and I loved the look of it um, and there's the back and then it just these tags this tag is actually from the cottage rose collection I will be releasing that Probably in a week. So or when so. I cut it out, it just happened to fit perfectly, just by luck. It fit perfectly inside the um, ticket die, and I thought it was really cool. And then I just slid it over this flap. Let's see if I can go back here, like so, and it just created a neat little um, tag holder, and then added a little. Um, you know, 
a little decoration to the page as well. And then I just stamped on the back, some stamping. But as you can see, um, lots of pages, lots of lined pages to do journaling. And then this is one of the new papers. And then I just used a lace stamp. Um, I stamped over it with a lace stamp. <laughs> and then on this page, um, just made a little pocket here. This is one of the new tags from the part two, the Simply Jane part two collection. And then this tag I stamped and used some washi tape. And then this is from the Cottage Rose collection as well, one of the tags from it. And again, I will be releasing that in about a week from now. So probably the end of this month, which is January. January 2016, because I'm not sure when, when you view this, <laughs> it could be a year from now. <laughs> so, okay. And then this envelope, um, ran it through an embossing folder, and then I used just different distress inks there. And then this was a Martha Stewart um, punch that I used. I used just did white cardstock and created these little um, flaps and then uh, just distressed them with vintage photo and then some ribbon and um, then it holds in a larger uh, a larger sheet of line of the lined journal paper. I think it's the Victoria Ann I don't think I have it glued down. It shouldn't be glued down unless it's sticking to the side of something. Or maybe it is glued down. I guess it's glued down. <laughs> I don't even remember what I do half the time. But anyway, um, yeah, I just ran some ribbon through here. Actually, I'm getting this in the camera here. And then just tied a little bow. And then in here, um, just made a big journaling card. Did a, um, quite a few transparencies um, in this book, more of the lined paper. And then these, um, I did this in the other Jane journal book as well. And I just took and embellished them with acrylic paint um, just to kind of make the images, you know, the color pop a little bit and give it more of a, I wanted that painted look. And um, I love the way it turned out. So I just attached those to um, these flaps and they come off. They're just um, strung around with ribbon so you can slide them off. And then you have the pretty bows on the other side. And then this is just another um, this is the other end of that paper bag and one of the new Jane Journal tags. I'll show you here. And this is also from the new Jane, Simply Jane Ephemera collection. Just slide that in there. And then another tag from the Cottage Rose collection. And then I just used um, that same lace stamp right there. And stamped along the envelope, the back side of the envelope there. This was just one of those, um, started off as just one of those white um, business envelopes. 
and then um, my mom, she took just scraps of her uh, decorative papers that she had laying around and just um, kind of, you know, laid them down on the paper. And then I stamped over it. And then on this page, I used just that, um, it's like a cream colored muslin. And um, I took a stencil, I applied a stencil over it, and then I just sprayed on, uh, I'm trying to think of what distress spray I used. I think it was abandoned coral, but I'm not sure. And that's what I used on that page. And then I stitched it and I stitched the paper to that muslin. And I loved the way it looked. Kind of shabby chic like. And then here's another page, kind of similar to the other page that I did in the um, other Jane Journal book. Um, just took some fabric and created a pocket, stitched the sides, and then um, made this little flap here. This is This is actually made from... You know how they have all of that Christmas trim that you can get for 70% off, um, I think, at Joann's after Christmas? And that's what I used here. So it had that stitching, and I loved it. So always be sure to check for the Christmas ribbons, because um, sometimes you can find some that are neutral that don't look real Christmassy, like this one. And... I think I ended up paying, you know, it was normally 20 bucks, and I ended up paying like seven, six, seven dollars for a whole spool of it. So um, that's what I used there. And then inside here is this larger journal, journal card, which I wanted to paint on this one too, but I was kind of running out of time. So I'll probably do that later. And then this is one of the new tags in the part two of the Simply Jane ephemera pack. And then I just have the paper clip holding it, kind of holding that in place. And then um, this, this tag is, actually, this is, um, I cut this from one of the Paris Rose pages, I believe. And so that's what this is. And then I just um, took some trim did this little bow and a flower button and it just sits in there in that pocket like so. Try and reach around the camera here. Oh, and then I had some vellum paper there. And then uh, this is, on the side here, this is one of the envelopes I was talking about that comes in the, the part two uh, Simply Jane Ephemera pack. And then it's got the matching journal cards that go inside. So those are included in that pack. Let's see, I think I had it sitting in there like so. And then one of the new tags, it's one of the new tags from the Part 2 Simply Jane collection. And then on this side, I just, um, this was more of that Christmas trim that I found. And again, it wasn't really Christmassy looking at all, I didn't think. So, um, just used this trim and then some pink cotton fabric. If you go to Joann's and... They have a remnant sex, a remnant section, and they had, like, they're already marked 50% off, and then they had it another 50% off, and I don't know if that sale's still going on, but it was a great time to pick up um, their remnants, and then they also had it on some of their trim as well, so it was a steal. And then here's just some tags. This is from the new um, Part 2 Simply Jane Ephemera pack.
And then on this page, I'm going to try to get it up closer here because I want you to be able to see what I did because I love the way it looked. I just took um, this, I, I took and I printed on parchment paper. Um, it was the ivory colored parchment paper. And then I ran it through the embossing, through my embossing folder, and it gave it a really cool texture, as you can see. And I loved the look, the look of it. And then I just took and I uh, sewed on some trim and lace, and then some of the muslin cotton that I had used a stencil and then just distress ink over it. And there's the back side. And I think I rubbed um, some pink raspberry distress ink over that. And then here's um, more from more ephemera from the um, Simply Jane Part Two. More lined paper, and then um, on this. I used more floral tape. I found this at Hobby Lobby. I loved it. It was so pretty. Had to get it. Um, I just took and wrapped it around the envelope. And then this is um, one of the ephemera cards from the original Simply Jane ephemera pack. And I just glued it down onto the flap of the envelope. Or I should say my mom did. Remember, my mom and I both work on these. Okay, and on this page, um, I used some embossing powder and then just some fabric down here, stitched it, some spare trim that I had to create this little pocket here. And then this is one of the new um, ephemera journal cards from the Part 2 Simply Jane collection. And again, that will be um, available. I think it's going to be available on my website first, and I'm not sure when I'll get it on my Etsy site. So if you don't see it on Etsy, it'll be available um, at my website. And again, all the collections are cheaper on my website than Etsy because I don't have to pay those Etsy fees so be sure to check my Etsy I mean, I'm sorry be sure to check my website first before you go to my Etsy site and here's another one of the um, envelopes with the matching journal card And I just have it kind of sliding down in this little black bag. And then this is also one of the new um, tags or ephemera cards from the Part 2 ephemera pack. And here's another one of the envelopes. And then the matching journal card. And then here's a transparency and more of the new um, the new tags from the part two Jane ephemera pack simply Jane oops Let's see if I can get them in there So I just used brads and I punched holes and tied ribbon in the flaps to um, hold the tags in place. And then here's another one of those uh, white business envelopes that you always get and it's got the window. And then just scrap pieces of um, leftover papers and then some stamping and trim 
was added. And then I used a stencil on the back side of the envelope. And um, it was the script stencil, which I will have this available for sale on my site soon. And then the uh, Tim Holtz splatter stencil. And then I just stitched in a piece of leftover paper that I had um, to the black cardstock. And there's another um, one of the tags from the Part 2 Ephemera Pack. And then just some more of that. Um, this was floral trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I just kind of used a leftover piece that I had on the, the bag there. And here's another envelope. With the matching journal card. And they fit in there perfectly. So when you print them out, it'll be this size. Um, it's 4x4. Four 4x4 four, four four size, which is a, a really nice size. And then on these flaps, it around here. I did um, from the doc documentary ephemera pack. There's a sheet of alpha. Um, it, it's an alpha sheet, and I just fussy cut out the letters J A N E for Jane, and then applied some rhinestones at the top, some sticky rhinestones, and then the flaps. You know, you can journal on them or add pictures or whatever you like there. And then here, um, I just used one of my dies and I made a, a little pocket at the top, a little pocket at the bottom, and I stamped postcard and London down here. And then um, there's a couple journaling cards or tags inside and then this is one of the new papers from the part 2 Simply Jane collection and on this page um, I just used again some of that muslin cotton stamped over it, stitched it down some washi tape and then um, this is from this is from the top of a leftover page that I had from the antique collage, and I just took it and folded it in half to create a little journal card. And then here's another um, tag from the Cottage Rose collection. And then there's more journaling cards in there. There's Jane Austen. And then um, just used some trim here, some fabric and more trim and a Prima flower. And again, um, this is where I took that cotton and laid a stencil over it and then sprayed it with the abandoned coral distress spray and then stamped over it. Added a little flower and then some lace down here to create this pocket. And then the journal card kind of just slide in like so.
So here's an envelope with one of the new papers. And then I just stamped the back side of it. And then here, just to use trim, I create a little pocket in the center. And then there's just these little envelopes that my mom had made. And more flaps. And this is another tag from the Paris Rose, or I mean, Cottage Rose. Another white envelope where we just used um, leftover pieces of paper and just glued them down, kind of collaged them all on there. And here I just used more of that floral trim. You just applied it over a little paper baggie. And then journal cards inside. This is supposed to go to the top like so. And then again, these are the new um, ephemera cards from the Sim Simply Jane Part 2. And here's another one of the white envelopes. And I just, um, this is some fabric. Well, first it was a white envelope, and then we used the decorative papers where we just took the strips and um, collaged them on the envelope. I'm not sure if that's all getting in there. Let's see here. Okay. And I um, applied some burlap down here and some more fabric that had, um, it was kind of like an ads fabric for coffee and tea that I used up here. And then I fussy cut out a fabric teapot. And that's how I did the envelope. And then just splatter stencil on this side. Another one of the um, ephemera cards from the Simply Jane Part 2 collection. And I just stamped, stamped along here, the dress form, the postcards, London. Stamped the back of those flaps. Some more lined paper. Like I said, lots of lined paper. Lots of places to journal in here. This is a huge book to journal in. Huge. <laughs> and um, I know I'm going to have lots of people asking if this is going to be available for sale, and it will. So, here's the thing. As soon as this video is um, launched, I will have it up on my site for sale, and I think the last one I did with the Sherlock Holmes book, it sold not even, I think, two minutes after I had the video up, so um, I had two people that had it in their cart at the same time, actually, and one lady was really bummed, so we ended up making her another we one. ended up selling it, and it's not available, and you really had your heart set on getting one of these, then I can't promise anything, <laughs> because we are super busy. Um, we sell these as fast as we make them. We can't even make them fast enough. So, you know, if you really have your heart set on one, um, send me an email and then it takes us about three to four weeks, sometimes five weeks, to get Here's another the other book Jane Journal book. It's, as you can see, it's huge. Absolutely huge. Another huge journal. <laughs> So if you have any questions, um, just shoot me an email, leave a comment. Um, I love to hear your guys' ideas, your thoughts, your suggestions, so please post those. And um, if you like this video, if you want to see more, be sure to 
thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for watching.